Hey friends, it's Eric here. I'm super excited to show you how to make a balloon popping game in Octo Studio. So a player will have a certain number of seconds to click as many balloons as possible to get to high score. Let's try it out. To start, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project and I'll pick a sprite first, our character. Uh, we want it to be a balloon. So if we go down here to the object section, uh, we'll be able to find the balloon. Um, I'll pick the balloon, but you can pick whatever you, you want. It doesn't need to be a balloon. Uh, and I think probably the sky background feels right for this. So to start, let's build this ba basic mechanics of the game of like when we click a balloon, we'll have it go to another location. So I'll go ahead and pull out the when I tap. And when I tap the balloon, I want it to go to a random position. So I'll grab our go to block here and I'll click in and I want to select this. This is a random position. So let's try that out when I tap. Okay, cool. Let's make it go instantaneously. So I'll change that to the lightning bolt. Awesome. Nice. That's way more fun, in my opinion. Let's also add maybe a color change to really emphasize that the balloon has been clicked. So I'll go down here to the pink category, uh, and then I'll grab this block change color. And I find that the default of 20 doesn't change the color quite enough for what I like. So I'm going to actually try to boost this up to 80 and see what happens. So let's go ahead and click the balloon. Nice, so I like, the, I like that look. So we're off to a great start. I think it's important now to add a score. So every time the balloon is clicked, let's give the player one point. Uh, so we'll go to the more blocks category here and check out these blocks here. This is the change variable block. And let's have that be the first thing that happens when they tap. We'll have it change the score by one. And then uh, I like to get in the habit of doing this. I want the score to reset when I, when I start the project. So I'm actually gonna grab this set variable block here and attach it to the when I hit the green play button. So let's try out these new scripts. So I'll click that, nice, cool. And then will it reset when I hit the green play button? Perfect, okay, so next let's create a timer for the project because we only want the player to be sort of popping balloons for a certain number of seconds. It's actually pretty easy, we'll use a variable. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my code down and I'm going to uh, create a new variable of time. So I'm gonna pull up a, a variable block here and let's go down here and click um, this plus sign to make a new variable. I'm gonna call this time, okay? And I want the time, ooh, what was that? That was an odd bug, <laughs> weird. Um, so I'm gonna set this new variable time. I wanna give the player 10 seconds. So let's say at the beginning of the project when they hit the play button, Time is going to be set for 10, and then every second, I want the time variable to go down by one. So it's essentially a countdown. So I'll go ahead and grab this um, repeat block, and we'll say repeat 10. And then what I wanna do is, yeah, subtract one from that variable. So I'll change the time variable by one. Uh, and then let's go ahead and click and see if it works. Whoops, that changed, whoa. That's not right. I want to change it by negative one, and I want it to wait one second uh, between that. So let's go ahead and try that again. Nine, eight, seven, six. So again, uh, we set the time to 10. Uh, we have it minusing one every one second, and that gives us our time variable. And now that we have this variable, it's gonna be super helpful for the next two parts of this project. One is sort of stopping the player from collecting points when the time has run out, and the second is collecting that high score. So let's go ahead and try to do that where we stop the player from collecting points when the time has run out. Um, so I'll go down here, and I wanna look at this script, when I tap. Um, now when I tap, this is sort of allowing us to collect points. What we could say is only run this script when the time is greater than zero. Um, so I'll do this, I'll go ahead and grab this if then statement, and I'll wrap it around my entire block of code here, and I'll change the score variable to time, and I'll say greater than zero. And I wanna take a moment just to talk about what this, what this means. So this when I tap script only will run if time is greater than zero. So if it's nine seconds, five seconds, things like that. So let's go ahead and try it out. So you can see I'm still getting points, still getting points, looking good, time's still greater than zero. Time is approaching zero. Okay, time is now zero. And you notice this script, I click as much as I want, but I'm not getting any points because the script is not allowing us to do it. So that's like a really cool hack. I love that. Um, and it sets us up now to make this high score. Uh, and the high score is actually pretty simple. 
what we'll do is we'll go up to this script here. Um, this is the script, as you remember, that is our timer. And when our time hits zero down here, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to do some mathematics with the score. Okay, so I want to have uh, a high score variable. So I'm going to go ahead and make a high score. So I'll go ahead to the variables and I will do a, a uh, set variable and I will pick, uh, I don't have high score yet, so I'm going to go ahead and add high score. I'll type that in right now, high score. Great, so now we have a new variable in our project called high score. Before I do that, let's talk about the logic. Um, if our score exceeds the high score, we want to set the new high score. So we can do that uh, using the same kind of if then statement. So I'll go ahead and pull this in. And let me rearrange some of the code so it's a bit easier for, for folks to see. So uh, yes, um, you know, if the score is greater than our high score, so I'll pull that in, variable high score is greater, then we want to set our new high score to our score. So uh, I'll walk through that again. So if I've scored 10 points and our previous high score was eight points, then we have a new high score. So let's set that high score to that current score. Um, and let's go ahead and see if that works. So I'll go ahead, I'll play, I'll play one round here where I'm not doing so good. Maybe I'll just keep it at three or four points. Okay, and let's see how this runs. Okay, high score is now four. So let's go ahead and replay the project. And let's try to set a new score of something like, oh gosh, let's get, let's try to get 10. Let's try to get 10. Can I get 10? Great. So this should now give us that new high score. There you go. So it's actually pretty simple to make a high score in Octo Studio. I really love that. Um, but anyways, this is a great start to a project. I'm excited to see what direction should take it.